Hey folks, Green Stuff Cav here. This week we're back with another painting from Warhammer Underworlds, Hexbane's Hunters. Uh, this time we've got Bridget Axwold, young lady, uh, the penultimate model we've got to paint for the crew. She's got a nice little axe and repeating pistol. Again, the stakes we can see in the rest of them. Yeah, really cool one, um, mini. Now we did a video already on doing the base, so I'm just going to go straight ahead and um, start painting. Now we can see we've started with um, black undercoat from Colour Forge as usual, and then we're going to follow a lot of the previous minis, uh, starting here with Thondia Brown over um, all of the coat. And then we'll um, pick all the details out as per the rest of them. Now, while I normally water down in the pot, uh, this could do with a bit more water. And so you can see I'm adding a touch more to the uh, give it a bit fluid. Uh, wood bear is red, so we're going to go for some spot of colour there. Sort of the weapon halves, the underside of the, the coat. Um, Normally go for Mephiston, I think it is, but um, yeah, Wood Bearer's Red's a good base. And we're going to stick some um, flesh tone around. This is all the stuff that's going to be um, bone colour, so I'm picking them out with obviously a darker colour just to start with. Picking out our gloves, we didn't with the um, with Hexbane himself, but I think it helped just to break the colour up a bit. Um, <clears throat> so bubonic yellow, really good, straight over black. Oh, sorry, this Death Call Brown will go in straight over the skin, over black. Death Call Brown, really nice colour. And then I think, yeah, we go on to Bubonic Yellow to pick out all of the hair bits. The official artwork has her as blonde, so I thought I might as well follow it through. Again, it's all about spot colour, so with the tiny bit of red and the blonde hair, really adds some um, variance. Out all the metal bits. This is um, sort of a wet brush, so similar to dry brushing but with a bit more paint, and then um, going in and tidying up because that gives us some detailing. Picking out all our um, greaves. So you see, I'm sort of going over the the edges as well so giving some colour back to the original brown so again where the paints are translucent we can see we're just going straight over the top with the same colour but leaving the edges and that gives us some um, shading really sort of easy way to do it rather than mess about with mixing colours And Cadian flesh tone over the skin. Where this is quite a thin paint, we can uh, get away with layering that. Now go to Rakarth flesh straight over the um, uh, trousers, but it does it doesn't work. So we're going to mix in the previous color. I'm actually going to work uh, mix the colors together to get our blend. And then we'll go back with Rakarth flesh over the top. Sometimes when you pick your colour out, you can sort of say, oh, actually, that's far too sharp a colour. And um, thankfully, with the way I paint, is there's always some wet paint on the palette still. So it's easy to sort of mix them together to get the right shade, sort of the midway midway point. So then we can go back over with Rakarth, and that gives our highlight as 
per usual. Also picking up the stakes here. Make sure I leave like some real sharp um, shadows there to help stand them out. There we go, Rakarth straight over the top. Gives some real um, depth to the colour. Thankfully, by picking out sort of not too many colours, you can really sort of blitz uh, paint jobs out. Really helps keep the the crew coherent. Another layer of Baylor Brown, uh, Baylor Brown, um, whatever the yellow is, I forget. Um, Baylor, yeah, Baylor Brown, which is kind of yellowy. That gives us a nice blonde without standing out too much. Now here I'm picking them out in Word Red, Word Bearer's Red again, all of the red pieces, and I'm really not happy with this. Is the color the color again? The color is far too subtle. So um, I think we're going to go back with a different red in a minute. First of all, some edge highlightings on the black bits with a bit of grey. Just help them so they, they don't look too unfinished. Just a slight highlighting. And we go back over the lighter red. Just really add some accents, really pick the colours out. Touch more metals just to high, again highlight, pick out things like the the um, buckles and the little studs. Yeah, easy as that. As always, thanks for watching. Have fun.